Hey everyone, it's Tom, um, aka Misty Knight for Misty's Meals. Uh, today I'm going to be making a blackened mahi mahi with mango salsa. <clears throat> um, side note, I do not own any of the rights to any of the music that's playing in the background if you happen to hear any. Um, also, again, if you like what I'm doing, go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel. Greatly appreciate it. Okay, so what we're going to do is, like I said, we're going to make a blackened mahi mahi. Um, and you can do it either if you have a grill pan or if you have like one of these, like I've got uh, some bean, like panini press grill type thing, whatever. There's a lot of them out there, all basically the same. Anyway, you wanna go ahead and lightly, you wanna spray that with um, Pam grilling spray. And then you wanna already have a paste made for your mahi. And you can use any type you want. This is wild caught. You can get it at any store. Um, well, what I did is I went ahead and brushed a paste onto it <clears throat> and the paste consists of you've got ground cumin you've got some salt pepper crushed red pepper you have got ginger um, let me see what else smoked paprika um, and garlic powder and then two tablespoons of olive oil and you're just gonna mix that together and then if you have a little brush just a you know spread it on there and spread one side of that <clears throat> one side of the fish with that paste and then what you want to do is lay that on your grill after it's heated up, and you want to set it on high heat. Go ahead and lay that down. And you're only going to cook it per side about three to four minutes, and you're only going to flip it one time. Now, don't worry about putting any of the paste on the other side that's face up, because what is going to happen is once they come off the grill, after about three four minutes, we're going to go ahead and brush the rest of the paste onto the already cooked fish. So while that is cooking, and just let it go, forget about it, to set a timer if you need to. So with that, there's gonna be a mango salsa. Um, and you can, there are so many different ways to make a mango salsa, but this is what I'm doing right here today. Here we go. I've got some sliced and cut up mango, a ripened mango, um, any size, small, medium, large, depends on how much mango you want. This is a medium one. And then I went ahead and um, diced up half a cup of red onion. I just want to toss that in there. Oh. And then we have one can of stewed tomatoes that you want to go ahead and chop up, a nice small chop. You want to drain it. And if you have a little bit of juice left, that's all right. And then right here we have about um, one teaspoon of minced garlic. teaspoon and a half of ground cumin, and two tablespoons of chopped up cilantro. That in there. You can use jalapeno peppers or any type of peppers that you want. I did not have any jalapenos, so what I went ahead and did is took three small sweet red peppers, and I just uh, finely diced those, put that in there, and that's about half a cup. You want to take a lime and um, Juice it, a fresh lime, or if you have lime juice in your house already, that's fine too. Go ahead and put that in there. And then I'm just going to go ahead and add, I diced up some fresh pineapple, and you can use canned if you want. Again, whatever you have, whatever's going to work for your pocketbook. Um, so I did about one cup of nice, finely chopped pineapple. And that's all this consists of. Then you just got to mix it together. Doesn't have to be fancy. The chop, it really doesn't matter. You how big or small you need it. Um, and again, in the comment, I mean, in the description box below, I'm gonna go ahead and actually type up the recipe for this too, so that way you have it if you wanna try it at home. Then you wanna go ahead and, oh, let me show you. Look at that. Just set it aside. <clears throat> and it's about time to go ahead and flip our fish. <clears throat> and you're only, remember, you're only gonna flip it one time because you just wanna flip it and let it go. And it only takes three to four minutes on either side. And then just let it go for you know, three, four minutes. So while that is doing that, I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, our fish is done. It is now time to go ahead and unplug your grill, turn it off. And then we are going to scoop this up. It does not take long to cook this fish. It's pretty good. And you can get, again, I'm using the bag, um, frozen Alaskan caught. But 
any good grocery store that you go to is going to have fresh seafood on hand, and more times than not, they're all going to have mud. So. Alright. So we have it turned off. Let me show you all. Pretty nice. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and plate one of these bad boys up really quick. Show you. And again, you can brush some more, um, more of the paste on the fish if you like, or if not. And this, my friends, is dinner. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching very much. I told you this was not going to be a really long video. Nice and short, nice and quick. Um, something simple. If you don't have a lot of time, you, you know, on the go, you can make this stuff ahead of time. Um, prep it all out, cook it, good to go. Um, and this makes four servings. So that's, you know, you can have dinner twice, lunch twice, <clears throat> up to you. Anyway, please again, like and subscribe to my channel. Leave me any comments on what I can do to improve or what you want to see. I know some of you have already said um, you want to see Misty, and she is coming, I promise. I will have a video of her coming soon, hence the name Misty's Meals. So it just takes a little bit of time, you know, to turn this into that. But again, I will talk to, talk to y'all later and enjoy your dinner.